hi guys good to have you back if you're new here welcome to my channel and thanks for watching uh, this is just a quick reminder to please subscribe to this channel if you haven't like this video and let's get right into making our dress for today so today we'll be making this beautiful <laughs> it's like i always make beautiful things yes we always do beautiful things on this channel so we'll be making this beautiful dress it's a kid's dress um just a kid of about um let me say three to seven years thereabout in making this dress i made use of ankara fabric yeah ankara fabric is also known as african print just any nice beautiful Afri african print you can get hold of and then i used the lining to um turn it and um the other things i used to it okay i had my measurements i had my tip rule i had my scissors then my needle thread no my sewing machine yeah i already have my fabric on fold as you can see it's already folded and um this is the measurement i'll be working with for the teenager i have the, basically all the verticals but i did not get enough of the horizontal so i'll just work with what i have the bust and the waist that's only what i had for the horizontal so i'll work with that so having the um, fabric on fold i would mark out the verticals just like so i'm sure we all um have an idea on how to mark them out so i have three and a half here and um i have them um, four and a half then i have nine for the waist nine for the waist here is my marking so okay yeah it's a little bit visible <laughs> i have 13 i have um 15 and a half and um i have the length which is some um, 25 oh the um camera is not um getting up today let me just adjust it a bit so the camera could not go down to the full length of the dress, which is um 25. That's the new length of the dress I'm marking out. Um, so I had to adjust the clothes, bring the clothes further so we can have a view of um where the end of the clothes is. So the clothes, um, the length of the dress is um 25, and this is my 25. I've marked it out. Uh, but would notice that um at the end of the dress there was a little bit um gathers at the end. So uh we'll be cutting out we'll be reducing from the length of the dress so when we cut out the um fabric for the gathers as well and we'll join it back to the dress it will still remain its normal length so i'll be cutting out um four inches or five rather let me do five yes i'll be cutting out five inches for the gathers and so i would be reducing the length of this fabric by five inches so when we have the full length as 25 reducing it by five inches that would um, be 20 inches so i'll be marking out 20 inches then i'll just mark out um 20 i'll add half an inch half inch for the sewing allowance so i'll be marking out um 20 and a half instead of the normal 25 inches we had earlier having done with the vertical so here is me working on um, the horizontal as you can see i've taken out my um tape rule to the horizontal side uh, so i'll be marking out the um the measurement for the length the measurement for the shoulder pardon me <laughs> measurement for the folder is five and i'll be adding one inch so it does six um then i'll take out the shoulder slope that's um two and a half i hope the camera is covering it two and a half so here is me marking out my shoulder slope hope you can see that mark that the shoulder slope this is a basically for a kid so the normal bodies will mark out for an adult is almost the same pattern we follow but since is since this is a free dress it's more like a very free shift dress we will not be putting 
will not be um, concentrating on um, the curves and um, the whole um, built of the cloth and it's even for a kid so uh, and would not be adding a dart by any of the sides so it will just be plain like that so I'll just basically mark out um, the body so guys here's a quick reminder to please subscribe to this channel if you haven't like my video click the notification bell and please share this video to as many as you can thank you five funny half is five funny half and i'll just go ahead and add um one inch for my swing allowance for the shoulder slope the shoulder slope which is on four and a half i'll just extend it by a little bit of one inch for this shoulder slope from um my from my bust to the shoulder slope so here it is oh you can see it well so I drew out my shoulder slope already here is my shoulder slope and I'll just go down and um, connect it. So I have my five and a half, and um, um, for my waist, I have five and a half as well. I have five and a half as well. So I'll just go over and mark it. Then when I'm getting closer to the end of the dress, I will just make it a bit bigger because it's a free dress at the end of it. So. I'll just um, make it bigger. I'll make him more like a flay, a flay dress at the end of it. So it should give um, enough space for the kids to walk and play and all of that. Without, having the, without the clothes having to give you each time um, the little girl needs to walk or play or jump or any form of play at all. So... And towards the end of it, I just made it bigger. Yes, just made it bigger this way. So here is what um the full bodies look like. Here is um my shoulder slope down to the end of it, 20 and a half. Then I'll be drawing out uh, my neck. That is not so hard. Um so for my um chest measurement, I had them three and a half, but I'll be marking out two and a half by uh, my spine to nape was three i'll mark out two and a half for that as well so um i'll just connect it right away i'll just connect it like so so i hope um we can see it properly here is okay the pattern i cut for the neck you can see it properly here is um for the neck and here's the arm all the shoulder slope so that's just basically it and i'll cut it out like so so here is me cutting out the length of the dress i hope um the camera captures that my length of the dress i'm coming up Coming up towards the side. Oh, made a mistake. No, it was a mistake. I was going the wrong way. Instead of coming inwards, I was going outwards. So, having done that, here is my neck. So here is what it looks like down to this is the full length of the dress just like so so the next thing i'll do oh i missed out the shoulder stop okay like so the full length of the dress um so i'll go over to my fabric over to the main fabric put it on fold as well just like we did earlier here's my fabric 
cuts and fold. And yes, it's right on fold. Okay, and I'll place this already cut out on the fabric, leaving out two inches here at the edge for um, the zipper allowance. So I would make sure from uh, it's more than one inch. Okay, now I have one inch that has been left out. So from the top to the bottom, to the full length of the dress, I'll be leaving out one inch. Okay, I've got my one inch. One inch, one inch. Yes, so I'll just cut it out. Same way. This is the back piece I'm cutting, so I'm cutting it same way with the front piece. Exactly same thing. Here is my shoulder slope. I'm cutting that out. So for the neckline, you can see this is where the neckline of the front is. Uh, you usually notice that in dresses, um, the neck is at times depending on the style you want. People make the neck a bit higher than the front. Um, so I made the, the neck of the front two and a half. So I'll just come back up by one inch for my back and I'll connect it right to uh, my spine to nape here. So for this side, it will still meet at the same point, but for the middle of, um, the, uh, of the neck, the back middle, I'll bring it up by one inch and I'll cut it like so so here is the neckline for the front so you can see it well so guys here's a quick reminder to please subscribe to this channel if you haven't like my video click the notification bell and please share this video to as many as you can thank you I'm cutting it right into two just like so so here is my front piece have it in one piece and here is my back piece my back piece i have it in two piece then i'll go over to um cutting my um i just fold it and put it aside And here's the lower side of the dress that would be pleating. Remember, um, I said I was going to leave um, a difference of 5 inches for the lower parts would be pleating. So this is um, the piece I'll be adding to it. So I measured it um, 6 and a half inches, you can see. Um, the measurement was normally supposed to be 5 inches, but I kept out um, 1 inch for sewing allowance, attaching it to the upper part of the dress. And um, I kept half inch for sewing allowance, pardon, for, the upper, uh, for attaching it to the upper part of the dress. And the remaining 1 inch would be um, using to sew the um, other part of the dress to give it a good finishing so in all i added one and a half inches to it and from five inches it is um six and a half inches so that's what i have here so it's going to be six and a half inches for the width and for the length i uh, measured my other um upper part of the dress and um what i got was 20 like the lower part of the um other dress that will be attaching to this i measured it round so i got 20 and then i would um, be doubling the number on this so when i place it it would be able to go well around so i measured out 40 for this lower part as well i measured out um, 40 inches for it and i am um, cut out a lining for my dress i just um 
folded the lining into two and I placed this on it and I cut it out. I'm sure we all are familiar with um, cutting out the lining. Um, so I would pick my um, fabric. I would open it, you know it's unfold, then I would place um, the lining on it, this is the right side, so the back side is by the other side. So I would um, pick the right side of my fabric, place it on the lining to face the lining, and then I will sew it by um, the neck, yes, by the neck of it, I will sew it through, and I will do the same for the back piece as well. I've um, sewed the um, my lining with the fabric itself. So, like I said, I placed the right side of the lining face uh, the right side of the fabric to face the lining, and then I sewed it together. So I used the contrasting thread so we can see how the sewing is properly. Here it is. This is for the four. This is for the front piece, and these are the two pieces. For so, the guys, here's a quick so reminder to please subscribe to this channel if you so haven't cool like my video. Click the notification out, bell and please share this video to like as so, many so as you can. It. Thank you. And I've trimmed them off, so here's what it looks like. So this is a three piece, just like I said I was going to do earlier, and then um I trimmed it very close to the sewing line. So that when I turn it in, it will perfectly follow um, the semicircle line of um, the neckline to follow the exact neckline where I sewed it and then it won't be too bulgy. The next thing to do is to join the front piece and the back pieces together. So people have different styles, different methods of joining it together. Um, for me, um, this is um, one piece of the back. I would um, just turn it this way. Turn it and um, properly iron it. So here's the um, neckline. You can see it's very neat. Then um, I'll just take it close to um, the front piece. So here's the back piece. I've turned it. For the front piece, I've not turned it. And I'll go over to one side of the arm where it should fall. Like so. And I'll drop it in between the um, fabric of the front piece and the lining. So I'll do it this way. I'll drop it like this. I make sure they both meet at um, the neckline, like so. Then I'll use the lining of the front piece to cover it all up. Um. So I joined. I held it down with a pin, and I went ahead to sew it together. So I sewed it and I trimmed it. So this is the two sides now. Once I turn it inside out, um, you see how it looks like. So here it is, the boot arm I joined together, and this is the inner side. So um, the sewing is hidden inside, and it's very neat. Uh, I hope this shows well enough. So yeah, here's the outer side, and here's the inner side. So. I'll go ahead and um, iron it now. So I have here um, the sleeve. I cut out the sleeve already. This is for one arm. And um, this is for the second arm. You can see the um, arm hole here. And this is the sleeve. It's going to be a short sleeve. Yes, I'm sure you can see from the picture it was a short sleeve. Um, so... That is done, and um, this is this other part that would um, be the pleated one that will be standing on uh, the arm. So this would I made it to be um, twice of the size of the arm. So once I pleat it, there would be enough gathers and it would stand. So you can see um, the shape in which I cut it. This is a straight line. And then this came here as a curve. So it's a straight line that I'll be holding on to this side of the arm. So it would um, look something like this. I'll start sewing it from here. And then I'll pleat it. Pleat it just like so. I won't let it get to this extreme end of the arm. It would just be like halfway into the arm. So once I pleat it from this middle point down to here 
you would see the effect it would give it it would make it stand um so i would just go over to um sew in the edges of this this place i'll be sewing it in i'll fold it twice just like so just like this and sew it then the um end of the arm as well the sleeve i would sew it to to give it a good finishing just like this i'm so back to our sleeve you can already see there's something popping ahead of the sleeve so i um kept the sleeve i joined it with that upper part that would give it um that would stand and give it that big effect so i pleated it and sew it on top of it so um, i hope it's it's well visible right okay so i didn't start from the extreme end of the sleeve i started from the middle and then i sewed it through to this other point so it's pleated and um once the sleeve is completed you see how it's going to stand on it something like this then i'll go ahead and join it to my armhole yep so i've attached the sleeve to it yeah so you can see the other part of it is already standing very high um so the next thing i'll do is to join it by the sides together i'll join the sides together and as well i added the zipper to it already added the zipper to it and then we are just a few minutes away from getting done with this um, outfit so i'll join it from um, the sleeve down to the length of the dress on both sides um, I've joined them by both sides and you can see we're getting closer to the end of our clothes Can you see that sleeve? Oh I can't wait for the kids to wear it to look far better Yeah, far better on the kids body so here it is and the next thing at this end of it i'll be joining the other fabric i cut that one i cut um six and a half inch i'll be joining it at this particular end then i'll be pleating it i'll be pleating that fabric while this one i'll just sew it on it and that will be all for this outfit here is a fancy dress we're done and it's so beautiful i like the outcome i really loved it so thank you all so much for staying tuned to this particular point thanks for watching our videos thanks for staying here and please if you haven't um don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and click the notification button Thank you so much. Thank you. Mwah. Kisses for you all. And um, please stay tuned to my channel so you can see more interesting um, tutorials. I will be uploading as much as I can weekly. Yeah. So thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Such a cute little dress. Oh, I'm crushing. It's so beautiful, isn't it? Oh, I love it. Yep. Thank you, thank you guys for watching. Thank you all for staying tuned here. I'll see you in my next videos. Thank you, bye, bye, peace out. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome once again to my channel. Thanks for watching all my previous videos. Make sure the boats meet at uh, the neckline, like so. Then I'll use the lining of the front piece to cover it all up. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, thanks for staying tuned.